Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I will be unboxing this huge Zen Market package. Full disclosure, this is already actually opened. My fiance tagged something along with my order and it's actually for me for Christmas. So when this arrived, he took that out right away so that way I didn't have a chance to look at what it was and, you know, unbox it with everything else. Darn, right? Nah, just have to wait for Christmas. I like surprises. So this is my second ever Zen Market package unboxing and this time I did not buy any of the extra protections with it. After taking out what he needed to, he tried to put everything back in the box nicely. He told me he did remove two pieces of like bubble wrap. So just so we have an idea because I didn't pay for the extra packaging this time, I was actually really curious to see how well packaged it is. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this unboxing. I do also have a few little things over here because I don't think there are any figures in here, but it, you know, it's possible, I forgot. All right, so opening it up, we have our nice little Zen Market thank you card <laughs> so again he had already opened this up i'm sure it looked much nicer but there is a lot of bubble wrap actually in here Alrighty, so this is everything here he definitely ordered something bigger because there's no reason that box should have been as big as it was for all these things i think we're gonna go ahead and start with this if you've seen my girls and panzer cheap figures on tanks haul of nearly unboxing the whole set you know what this is and you might be wondering why the heck did you order that again and the really dumb answer is i copy and pasted the wrong link <laughs> from the wrong tab of my uh browser this is why i can't do anything on like mobile phones i i just can't this is Nishi, I don't mind having another one of her because my daughter loves playing with these. Every time she comes up here, she's always playing with these and they're so cheap that it is great. If you don't know what this is, it is a little girls in Panzer girl on a tank. This is Nishi. This is from Chiatan. She is one of the better ones out of the line in my opinion. And if you're interested, I did an entire video unboxing nearly all of them except for Darjeeling, but I did find Darjeeling. She will be in the next Zen Market haul. And yes, there is another Zen Market package in the sea right now, but it doesn't have a lot of stuff. It's like got two things in it. And the one is Darjeeling. She's in there. I'm getting her. <laughs> I promised I would get her. I knew I'd find her eventually. And of course, the moment after I made the video unboxing them all, I found her. But I'm not gonna go ahead and take her out of the box. I'm gonna let my daughter actually enjoy taking her out. Next, he did take the packaging off of this, it looks like. He did tell me everything in there was bubble wrap, so he must have snuck a peek at something else. I guess we're gonna go through all the girls and Panzer stuff first, makes sense. This is one of the music boxes. There are three or four total. And this is the piece of youth music box. Very cute. I really, really, really want the Enter Enter Mission one. So I'm looking out for that one and the moment it goes up, you know I'm going to find it. But let's go ahead and give this a listen. Honestly, first of all, love the little artwork, the little silhouettes of Miho and Maho on the music box, but I really like that song too. Apparently this was from an event on June 25th, 2017 and July 9th, 2017. It was apparently the cinematic concert for Girls and Fans or Dirk Film, so that's really cool. I assume then that that means you went to go see Dirk Film in theaters and from there you got this if you bought it I, that would that would be my assumption i don't know if you guys know about these let me know continuing on with the music box and girls and fans are this i think is another music box and this one's kind of interesting it said that it was a frame and it didn't show what the frame looked like so obviously this one's a lot bigger so the other one was 2,500 yen. This one was on 10% off apparently, and it was 2,000 yen. So that's pretty neat. Girls in Panzer Expo. It's just a little uh, frame of the girls, the anglerfish team. It's a cute picture. Let's see what the song is. I'm curious. That 
my friends would be enter enter mission. <laughs> okay, interesting. So I guess the music box song is gonna be the same in the other one. I kind of still want the other one because I like that it matches that one. Where to put it? That one. I think this is really cute if you can find it. I don't know how much these actually go up, like how often or anything. They came with these two little just wooden pegs that we can put in the back of the frame, like so, and then it can stand up. That's really cute. I really like that actually. Ang the Anglerfish team isn't like my favorite, even out of the ORI teams. I prefer the History Club Hippo team. But I really think that this is adorable. And you can take the picture out, it looks like. So you could put any picture of any Girls in Panzer characters if you wanted, actually, which is pretty cute. I like that you have that option. I might go ahead and swap it out. I like the artwork that's in there, but the fact that you have the option to print out your own artwork, like whatever artwork you want put in there, that's pretty neat. I like it. I like this a lot. I highly recommend this actually, more so than the other one, but I do like the song for the other one, so I don't know. Maybe both. I, I definitely am going to keep collecting these. Again, I think that there's two more of them. I'll definitely be keeping an eye out, and when I find them, I will unbox them for all of you. Last out of the Zen Market haul for Girls and Panther, I went ahead and picked up these. I can tell you right now, I thought these were going to be bigger. Kind of felt like they were gonna be like this big. I mentioned in my collection tour video, which if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out, that I planned on getting the buses and maybe the trains because I thought that was really cool. I'm personally probably never going to have a chance to travel to Japan as much as I'd love to go to Ori and be there during the Girls in Panzer festivals. It just probably is not gonna happen in my lifetime and that's okay. But I thought it would be so cute to have like a little piece of it in my collection. The moment I saw how small they were, I was like, ah, uh, they're actually end scale. <laughs> Which is fine, because if I end up getting the trains, they're also end scale. <laughs> you can see a picture of the bus on the back. That's so cute. I believe that the buses still are wrapped. The trains, however, were um, undone, de-wrapped, turned back into normal trains. cute these are. I'm just gonna pin the packaging to the wall, I think. Yeah, that's gonna be how I display them. Here's this one. Again, very cute. If you guys know anything about the buses, go ahead and let me know, because I just, I just think they're so cute, and it's like a little piece of actual Ori in my collection. Go ahead and open up the last one. And I do think there are only three buses in the collection. I think that this is all of them. Here you go. Again, very cute size comparison for all three. They are all different sizes, which I think is kind of interesting. I like the pink one the best. I just think that this is so cute. And I feel like when you look up the buses, this is the one that you see the most often. So that's really cool. I'm really glad I got these. These last three things are not Girls in Panzer, because believe it or not, I do collect other things. No, I know, I obviously you guys know that. This is the one that spurred everything though. So we'll open this one up next. Basically, I had found this for an unbelievable price and <laughs> had to go ahead. I bid on it. I won it. I was super excited. This is the Escaflone, actual Escaflone Gaimalek kit that I'm going to build to go along with my lovely Dai Landau that I built. This is the first mech I ever built. He is painted horribly and I love him. I will never repaint him. He stands to be a sort of benchmark, right? I look at him and I say, 
that is where I came from, and here is where I am in the future. And I do eventually plan on buying this same exact figure, or rather kit, doing everything to perfection, sanding him down nicely beforehand, painting him with acrylic properly. But as you can see, this is his box and everything. I was so excited when I got him. I love that he's not perfect too. It just, it makes me so happy and I'm a huge sucker for Die Landau. So because of that, when I saw this one go up, same line, I had to get it, especially because he was, let, let's go ahead, say it with me, say it with me. What's my favorite price to spend on anything it seems? That's right, 10 bucks. Now this box is fairly destroyed, but we don't care about the box. It's the stuff inside that matters, guys. And he's got all his pieces here. I was like, uh, yeah, I'll take that, thank you. I'm honestly so excited about this because when you do see him go up, he's very rarely that low of price. And honestly, that's what I got Dylando for. He was more like uh, 15 bucks, maybe like up to 17 bucks. He was more expensive. His box is in a little bit better shape. Super excited to build this. And again, this is what actually started this whole thing. This whole package can be all summed down to this awesome kit. Two more Zen Market things, and then I'm gonna show you like uh, three other things that I might as well unbox while I'm here. Next, we're gonna go with Recreators. Now, this is gonna be kind of a silly one because <laughs> they're manga. And there's no English manga of this series. I love Recreators. It is my second slash third favorite anime of all time because Escaflone, which is what that guy is from, uh, and Recreators like to fight for second place. I went ahead and picked these up. I can't read Japanese. So, you know, there is there is that. You could say that this is a stupid purchase, but I do like to, when I have a chance and they're not too expensive, pick up the Japanese manga of things that don't have an English translation because later on I will generally look up the English translation online, read it online, possibly maybe print out a book or two and uh, make my own English copies, but we're not gonna get into that because some people are gonna have a sh fit about that. I like to also purchase the actual manga, plus since I've seen the anime, it shouldn't be that difficult to follow along. Very excited to have this just so I have a more physical copy. I know that the DVD is technically a physical copy, but this way the power goes out and I want to enjoy it. I can go ahead, skip through these pages, treat it like a picture book. <laughs> I sound like a child. I think I got these for a buck each. These are very, very cheap used. They are printed on the top, so these might be like library copies or something. Usually if they're printed like that, that's what that means at least here in America. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Kind of neat, just to have. <laughs> These are Gundam Wing, because Gundam Wing's the only Gundam I've seen. I know, I need to watch Iron-Blooded Orphans, I know. <laughs> These are actually art books, so I'm kind of curious to what these look like. I saw these and was like, I don't know, should I pick them up or not? And I was like, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll bid on them. And apparently they're gonna saran wrap the ever living crap out of them. Like, <laughs> I think that these are two books, if I remember correctly. I don't even know where to start with this. <laughs> I'm getting stuck to myself, but we're getting somewhere. Come on. Got it. All right, so they put a nice piece of cardboard. This was very much like a, on a whim, I'm gonna go ahead and get this because looks kind of neat, looks cool to me. This has a very nice, cover to it. Look at that. It's a little protective sleeve. I like that. These are cool. Look at that. We're gonna find Best Boy. We all know who Best Boy is. I don't even have to say it. <laughs> we all know Duo is the best, so. Yeah, this is, this is nice. Oh, this one, there's a figure of this one, and I've seen a recasted garage kit of that. I'm gonna definitely be picking up the recasted garage kit because I'm very interested in it. I don't know if you guys want me to really go through the whole Art book right now, oh, I love this duo picture. I had this as my background on my work computer for like ever. This is a really nice art book. I highly recommend, oh yeah, look, we got Dorothy. Ah, oh, that makes that makes my day. I love Dorothy and her eyebrows so much. <laughs> She's great. Like very nice artwork overall. If you're a fan of the Gundam Wing characters, highly recommend. Interesting too, this one actually opens like a book. This one opens opposite way like a manga, so yeah, cool. I think the other one's better, if I'm just being honest. 
right off the bat. If you only could get one, I'd get the other. Ooh, wait, this one is concept art. Maybe not. I like this kind of stuff, so hold on. I like the sketches. That's really cool, actually. Okay, so if you like concept art, pick this one up. This also gives a little synopsis of each episode, if you can read it. Oh, look at that! You can see the different model kits. That's kind of neat. Out of the two, I think I prefer this one, but I do really like concept art, so I'm glad I picked this one up as well. So let's go ahead and finish up with a few things that I had in my little pile of, hey, merch that you should show in videos at some point <laughs> while you're unboxing other things. So I got these two Girls and Panzer figures. These match along with my anchovy I unboxed, so I kind of know what I'm getting into here. Rose up, I'm pretty sure I got for two bucks. Pretty sure I bid on this and got it for two bucks. And Kay, sadly, I want to say she was like 15 bucks, and I already know that this figure is not going to be worth 15 bucks, so that sucks. Before I open these guys up, a little Gundam Hello Kitty, which I got from GameStop. It says it was 12 bucks, but I remember distinctly it rang up as nine because I was with my brother at the time, and he would have gotten it if I didn't. And I found it first. I was like, oh, I'm going to get that, and then. I was like, it actually was only nine, I said it was 12. So yeah, I love that. I don't know how much this originally was, but yeah, it was on clearance. It's so funny too, cause I've seen It's a Gundam, I had like this little avatar, this little Hello Kitty Gundam, and I didn't think it was a real thing or I didn't know it was a real thing. So when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, it's like, it's a Gundam. <laughs> So it's got a very nice little display case here and then you can take it out of it and it comes with a nice, I'm going to call this a bookmark. It is a concept, I'm not even going to lie, it was the fact that it was a Hello Kitty Gundam that sold me on it. It looks really nice though. It's really neat, I really like that. Let's get on to opening up these two, since they're such cheap, easy figures. I'm just going to rip this open. I don't see these ones go up very often on Ami Ami, but... You can still to this day buy them on Amazon, I believe. They come with these little teeny tiny bases, and they are not the best figures. I remember that from the anchovy one. In fact, I recommend skipping these figures if you're not collecting the entire line. But as you can see, there are many a figure in this line. Yeah, here are these two figures. They are very subpar. I don't mind them at all. I think they look fine. Rosehip's face is really, really, really derpy. I think that her left eye is too far over. I think that's the problem. The painting's pretty all right. There's nothing crazy, nothing horrible. This line is very cheap. It's okay. And it's nice that they're like a smaller size, so if you don't have a lot of space, but they're not great quality. Moral of the story, if you are gonna find these, definitely bid for them super cheap online. There's no reason to spend a lot of money. They look like bad bootlegs. Like this rose hip looks like a bad bootleg. I, I'm sorry. And I know that's like really mean because she's official, but she just doesn't look good. Anyways, that is it for this Zen Market haul. This was my second time purchasing from Zen Market, and I have to say everything got here in one piece. Nothing was missing. Everything looks good to me, so I consider that a win. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. I mean, you did make it this far. I assume you must at least somewhat like me, right? I, right now, am collecting a lot of Girls and Panzer, so if you're into Girls and Panzer, definitely go ahead and subscribe because you'll probably want to see more of the stuff I'm picking up. But as you've also seen from this haul, I do just collect whatever I feel like so if you just enjoy my content in general go ahead and help me out I plan on continuing to collect and share my collection with all of you grow this collection and hopefully grow this channel so if you did enjoy please go ahead spread the good word about this figure collector who's a little bit obsessed with girls and tanks because without your help nobody else will see these videos no one else will see that they are missing wonderful girls and panzers in our lives <laughs> amongst everything else that I like to unbox. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!